Luz Dari has many struggles raising 11 children in Buenaventura, but none as big as the daily risk of them being targeted by criminal gangs. I live in constant fear because nobody knows when something will happen to them. A gang member killed her first husband, then they tried to take her daughters. When she resisted, they raped her instead. It hurts and I can't stop worrying about the boys and the girls in our community because I know that just like me, many young girls are assaulted and boys are recruited through intimidation and fear. Her son Diego says the gangs are like savages. When he rejected their demands to join, sometimes he risked his life and stayed in the city, other times he ran away. It started when I was eight or nine years old. They would offer me 20 or 30,000 pesos to kick somebody's door down or throw rocks. Or they would give us guns to go and intimidate someone. And they'd tell us we could steal money from that person if we wanted. Diego's story is a common one. 80% live in poverty and lack basic services. They are fertile ground for the rival gangs, the Urabeños and La Empresa, who are fighting an increasingly violent war to control territory, which is vital in the drug trade. The children are on the front line. There's no doubt young people in Buenaventura have to overcome huge challenges. One quarter of them never go to school, and those who do graduate have to face an unemployment rate of 60%. Few have access to special schools which offer training like building furniture, and when they leave, the odds are stacked against them. The government needs to go beyond security measures. The police and military presence has been reinforced, but we need a more comprehensive plan. Only jobs, education and better health conditions can save boys and girls from the illegal groups. Without such a plan, the most vulnerable in this city will continue to be left behind. Alessandro Ampietti, Al Jazeera, Buenaventura.